you like pain? Now, I know that might sound like a weird question, but some of us do. And not in that weird way you're thinking about. You nasty. nasty. No, what I mean is that some of us understand that embracing the pain is how you actually win. Like, what you mean embracing pain is how you win? Like, I don't understand that. Now, I know it might be a little confusing, but that's okay. You did the right thing. You came to class, balance of power. I got you covered with today's lesson. Pain avoidance causes pain. Let's get it in. Oh, yeah. Now, today is going to be a real quick lesson about how you make decisions, because I notice many of you, when you're making decisions and it gets too hard, you want to avoid it. You're running away from the hardness. You got to tell your girl some bad news and all of a sudden it gets too hard. You run away. You got to tell your man that you did something that you weren't supposed to do or you didn't do something that you were supposed to do. And what happens? It's difficult. It's hard. And you run away. But really, is that who you want to be? Do you want to be someone who folds like a lawn chair and just runs from your problems and avoids it like it's not going to go anywhere? Are you a runner in that way? Run for your life! Is that who you are? Why not try to be a bison? I don't mean bison, I mean bison. Like a buffalo. I don't know how many of you know this, but bison are notorious for running into the storm, running into danger. So how does that help you? What does that even mean? Well, when there's a storm, most animals will run away from the storm. As the storm's approaching, they will try to run. But it's mother nature. You can't really outrun mother nature. So what happens is the storm usually catches them and it follows that animal. So that animal, like cows, for instance, will get rained on, rained on, thunder, lightning, all that stuff for a very long time. They're dealing with the problem for a really long time. Bison, on the other hand, when there's a storm, bison is here. They see the storm coming, bison run towards it. So that time that they're spending underneath the storm, with the rain and the lightning and the thunder and all the stuff that's scary to most animals, bison go through it quickly, like ripping off a band-aid really fast. They know that running into the storm, running into the fray is how you get it over with. Finish it for good. So if the bison have to run through the storm for two minutes straight, storm, lightning, everything, they're doing that for two hard minutes, getting it over with. And they're done. Whereas everybody else might have two minutes of freedom of not being in the storm. Because they're running away from it. But then when the storm catches up and they're still running, they're now having to deal with the storm for about two hours. Two minutes worth of pain for two hours of peace? Or do you want two minutes of peace for two hours of pain? Because let me tell you a secret. That everybody who's truly strong, everyone who is truly successful knows, and they follow this with almost every decision that they make. They understand that this is how decisions go down a vast majority of the time. And it is this. You have a choice between short-term happiness and long-term pain, or short-term pain for long-term happiness. Notice that both times there's pain attached you just got to decide whether you want that pain to be quick, like ripping a band-aid off really quick, or do you want it to be long and drawn out, like pulling the band-aid off really slowly and every little hair that's underneath that thing is getting yanked out one by one. Is that what you want? Because there's going to be pain either way. But you just got to decide how you want your pain doled out. Do you want to be like the bison and just get it over with? It's going to be hard, but it's going to be fast, and it's going to be over and done with. Because there's a lot more peace at the end of that. Or do you want it the other way? You want to be lazy? You want to just hurry up and get all the goodness up front? And then later deal with a lot of pain? Because again, the truly strong, the truly successful, we know that there is no way around the work. There is no way around the pain. You can change how you deal with the pain, 
but you shouldn't avoid it. Every time you see it, you should run at it. Run through it. Get it done, get it over with. Knock that stuff out with the quickness. And when you do that, you usually have long-term prosperity on the other end. But that's the end of today's lesson. Now, you already know what to do. Go ahead, throw thumbs. And if you found value in this video, which I know you did, go ahead and subscribe and slide this video to somebody who might need to hear it. Now, I know you love these lessons. Go ahead and click on another video and get some more learning in. All right. Until next time, though. Deuce, deuce.